Saturn's rings will appear to disappear. And it's going to be a, a nice blood moon. March is going to be a very good month for sky yeah. gazers. Tonight, if you look up in the wee hours of the night or morning, if it's clear, you'll see the moon turn color, a bright red. That's because a full lunar eclipse will be underway. Just like a solar eclipse where the moon comes between us and the sun, this will be the other way around with us between the moon and the sun. David Kirsch teaches astronomy at Toronto Metropolitan University and says unlike the solar eclipse visible to a tiny fraction of the world, this will be visible to many more. Uh, when that moon's shadow is passing over us, it really only covers a small area. During a lunar eclipse, when the moon falls into our much larger shadow, it's entirely blocked out and half the world can see it. There's just one catch. Uh, tonight's obviously is happening between 2.30 and 3.30 in the morning. Uh, is, is it going to be worth the show for those who either wake up early or stay up late to catch it? I think it'll be worth uh, checking out. Um, a blood moon in the middle of the night, kind of cool. But why does it turn red? I've got my Dance Mix 95 CD. If I give you that CD, line this up. It's an effect we can visualize with a CD. If I'm the moon and the sun is the sun and Dance Mix 95 is the earth and we imagine that thin transparent edge of the CD is the atmosphere, that atmosphere will bend some of the sun's light around the planet, casting it onto the moon. And that's actually sunset and sunrise light from all the way around the edge of the earth. But this month, we're going to have another reason to look up. If we pop that CD in and take a cruise to York University. <laughs> Dr. Elena Hyde explains. So if you've heard that Saturn's rings are going to disappear, that's absolutely correct. Uh, and also incorrect. On March 23rd, the Earth will cross Saturn's ring plane, and it will look like those rings have vanished. A concept also well demonstrated using our CD. Yes, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> if the rings were uh, this CD and the planet was in the middle, how we usually view them is a little bit at an angle. So of course, uh, we see Saturn's rings in binoculars and small telescopes. But every once in a while, it managed to line up such that it is edge on. And of course, if it's edge on, this tiny thin line is barely visible. She says to see this, you'll want to use at least binoculars. A telescope will be better. As for tonight's lunar eclipse, just your eyes or those binoculars will do. For City News, I'm David Zura.